How can a single tree promote the growth of a whole forest? As with many plants, one way that trees reproduce is through seeds. But since trees are so large, their seeds will have a better chance of germinating and growing away from the trees that they came from. So how do tree seeds travel to the ideal place to grow? One of the oldest methods of seed dispersal among trees is wind dispersal. Certain trees produce seeds that are light enough and shaped such that they are easily blown away from the parent tree on the wind. These include the feather-like seeds of the American sycamore and the wing seeds, or samaras, of maple and poplar trees. Many conifers, such as pine, fir, and spruce trees also produce wing seeds. These grow between the hard, thick scales of the cones. When the cones open later on, the mature seeds are carried away on the wind. Animals play a very important role in the dispersal of seeds of several tree species. Some trees, such as holly, persimmon, and juniper, have evolved to produce colorful, nutritious fruit that is attractive to certain animals. When an animal eats the fruit, it will carry away the seeds from the fruit inside its gut. These seeds will eventually pass out of the animal, and if they're excreted in the right spot, they might just germinate. What if the animal doesn't eat the fruit right away, but instead buries it to save it for later? Certain tree nuts, such as acorns, walnuts, and hickory nuts, often germinate after being buried and forgotten by animals. Some tree species that grow in or near water produce seeds that float. Ever wonder how a tiny island in the middle of the ocean, like this one, came to have palm trees growing on it? Coconuts, the seeds of the coconut palm, have thick, fibrous husks that allow them to float. In fact, coconuts can survive journeys of hundreds or even thousands of miles on ocean currents. A native North Carolina tree that produces floating seeds is the bald cypress. This tree grows mostly in swamps or beside lakes or rivers. The seeds that develop inside the bald cypress cones have adapted to float rather than be carried away by the wind. Even the largest trees on earth start as tiny seeds, and it's through the forces of nature that these seeds can spread over time to create a magnificent forest.